my name is uh, Johannes Siller. I'm here for the uh, Copernicus Network, Network Office uh, Transport. And uh, I would like to give you a short introduction as to what we are doing and um, to what you can actually expect uh, from us and from the uh, network office. So basically, normally we're uh, two people. Uh, it's basically me and uh, Felix uh, Chudai Sontag, uh, who is who's not here today. And our main uh, topics are basically consulting on the usage of Earth observation data, especially Copernicus data, hence the name. Um, also educating, uh, thank you, uh, especially uh, regarding um, administration, uh, educating in the youth, uh, in the use of uh, more Earth observation data, Copernicus data, uh, things like that. And then, of course, also, as is in the name, uh, networking, so basically connecting the different actors uh, together. Uh, how many are we or how many people are we talking about in, in this network? Um, of course, it always depends on what you look at. But uh, for instance, we have a newsletter. Um, I will come to that later. And uh, currently, we uh, address around 130 uh, different people. And here, we are addressing people from administration. Uh, but of course, we also have industry uh, people there, and then also connecting uh, to research um, there. So if you want to get uh, more information on the usage of uh, Copernicus for uh, all kinds of uh, transport-related activities, you can have a look at our uh, website. Uh, small disclaimer here, uh, the main language is uh, German, but we have a short collection on projects, on emissions, on infrastructure monitoring, on, of course, mobility as, as part of transport, but also looking at uh, resilience and uh, environment issues. Um, as I also uh, said earlier, we publish a newsletter on a uh, regular uh, basis where we pick up uh, current topics from the network, basically things like we'll be having a talk at the Intergeo or summaries from uh, previous uh, workshops or, or things that we did. And we also like to focus like one project from the network um, where we basically give an overview of what this project does, what this project um, did. You can uh, register for uh, the newsletter here under this link, but again here, small disclaimer, uh, the main language uh, here is German. Um, then something that we uh, did in the past and that we will be picking up again is something that uh, is called a uh, luncheon uh, for care. Yeah, hard to pronounce it in English. Uh, basically, uh, the, the, the idea is to have like a, a short um, talk, a short presentation online, virtual, um, Basically, right after lunch, for half an hour, someone uh, gives a talk uh, on a special topic regarding Earth observation, hence the EO in the uh, title. Um, and we will be uh, picking that up again soon. So if you're like interested in uh, giving a, a talk, a presentation there, uh, always feel free uh, to, to get in contact with us. Then something that we, we also do a lot is like uh, the organization of uh, different workshops within the network with different actors. Um, the main benefit here or the main uh, topic, of course, the, the exchange of knowledge uh, between the actors. On the one hand, we, we have general workshop, so where it's basically a lot about networking, getting people together, uh, discussing uh, topics uh, in, in general. And then we also have topical workshops. For instance, last November, uh, we had a workshop here where we discussed topics of uh, ground movement uh, using Sentinel Copernicus data for uh, transport. And of course, we will also be having uh, further workshop, further tech, uh, topical workshops here. Um, then something that was uh, done last year and that will uh, take place again next year is uh, Coding Copernicus, the hackathon that last year was uh, hosted at the uh, 
DLR in Bonn, and next year it will be hosted uh, at, with us at BAST uh, in uh, Bergisch Gladbach. Um, just to, to remember the date right now, uh, further information uh, will, will follow here soon. And then a, a short uh, overview of where you can actually uh, meet us in the next uh, couple of, well, months, basically. Uh, so uh, I will be giving a talk at the, the Aachen Colloquium for Sustainable Mobility, basically giving an introduction more to Copernicus data and how it can be used in mobility. Then we will be there at the uh, Smart Country Convention. We will be there at the uh, Deutscher Straßen- und Verkehrskongress. And uh, we will also be participating or, or being, be available at the DDGI at Geo Forum in, um, I think, Berlin in uh, November. Then, of course, the, the luncheon that I was talking about. And then we are hoping to soon be able to launch a, a project uh, together with partners that will be called uh, BBDV. So ba basically, some people might know that there's like the Bodenbewegungsdienst um, with, uh, that was done by the, the BGR. Um, so, um, and we are hoping to uh, continue this project to have a more special focus of the Bodenbewegungsdienst. So basically, a service looking at ground movement, but with a special uh, focus on, um, on, on transport uh, and mobility. And um, basically what you can, well, you can't see, but basically what you can see down here is, is how it looks today with a focus on basically a, a lot of uh, very uh, general focus. And of course, in the future, then in this project, we're hoping to put more focus here on uh, transport and mobility, looking at all three uh, ground transport or land transport modalities, basically, so rail, water, uh, and road. And with that, thank you very much.